Hi guys, GT here. Today I'm going to be showing you how to get the best pet follower in the game, which is the Reichling. It's really simple to get, and I'm going to show you how to get it. So first of all guys, just a really quick bit of background on the Reichling. So Reichlings have up to 352 health and can level up to level 25 and also have a 25% resistance to frost. Now that can be really, really useful to have one at your side. They also have very strong attacks guys, they attack with both spears and thrown spears and can really do some damage. Like these guys here, Reichlings are very very aggressive as enemies and they are exactly the same as your follower. They are not scared of any level and will always attack at will. So one thing a lot of people don't know about pets in Skyrim is that you don't have to choose between a human follower or a pet, you can actually have both, therefore I can have now Serana and also a Reichling follower too. Another bonus about Reichlings is that you can actually give them your weapons to make them even stronger in attack. They do also come in different variations of the Scout, the Warrior and just the normal Reichling. The Scouts have an archery attack and the Warriors have a melee attack, so when you're choosing which one you want to be your follower, do bear that in mind. And just having a quick look at them, they do just look pretty amazing. So first of all, to go and get our Reichling, we need to travel to Solstein. So if you've never travelled to Solstein before, you will need to come over to the Doctor of Windhelm. Once you are here, you will need to go and speak to Captain Gelland, who is in charge of the travelling. And do bear in mind, you will need 250 gold to pay him to get there. Right then. Let's be off. Just so you know, passage over to Solstheim does require the Dragonborn DLC. If you are playing on the remastered version of Skyrim, you will already have this installed. Once you arrive in Solstheim, you will be here in Ravenrock, and where we are travelling today is over to Thursk Mead Hall. This is pretty close to the Temple of Mirak and also the Beast Stone. One thing to bear in mind guys is that if you're travelling on foot over to Thursk Mead Hall from Ravenrock, there are a hell of a lot of strong enemies littered around Solstheim, so you do need to be careful and be prepared to be attacked. Things like Ashborn and Netches can prove to be very strong opponents. Now we've arrived at Thursk Mead Hall, you will see these little kind of troll things hanging outside this building. These are actually the Reichling and to start we need to go and speak to them. Once you're over there, one of the Reichlings will actually initiate the conversation with you. So it seems like you're saying you follow me in kind of broken English, so that is what we'll do. So when we come into the Mead Hall, it does look like these Reichling have actually taken over an old Nord settlement. And really made it their own with their little houses and their nice little fire here. Though there are some ominous bones hanging around. So after following the Reichling inside, we can see that the Chief is there sat in his big throne and what we need to do is go over and speak to him. How did you learn to talk? Chief smart, most Reichling dumb, but Chief smart, <laughs> we family, we strong, you stronger. So it kind of seems like they're asking for my help. you bring he follow you, yes. So it kind of seems that something called Bilgamuk is an animal of some kind and he's asking for us to go and get it back. Bilgamuk, prize beast, you find, he follow. Bilgamuk, love meat, he meat, he follow, you go. Whoa, and he dives out of his chair right at you. So as we just saw, a quest is then started, the Chief of Thirst Hall. Now what we need to do is go and find the animal of some kind called Bilgamuk, give him some meat, and then he'll follow us back to this Reichling village. So an arrow will then appear on your map, follow it to go and find Bilgamuk. If you haven't already got some meat of some kind, you will need to get some before you go. So as we approach the arrow, it seems like Bilgamuk is some kind of big warthog. You then need to feed him the meat that you've got. Now I've got a salmon steak, but you can also feed him any kind of cooked meat. He will then like that and he will then follow me back to Thirst Mead Hall. And looks like we've got to go and put him in the pen round to the side. Off he goes into his pen and now we need to go and speak to the chief back inside the hall. So the Reichling Chief seems like he wants you to stay and maybe do something else. Reichling missing Red Cross. Need more God speak dance. You bring Red Cross. 
<laughs> so the Reichling chief needs something called red grass, so him and his other Reichling can do some kind of dance. And he gives you something called scathe crawl, which is what he means by red grass. You then need to go and find 10 of this scathe crawl and bring it back to the chief. Now scathe crawl or red grass is actually a really really common plant in Solstheim and it can be found mainly on the south of the island near where the ash is. So this is exactly what it looks like and you need to harvest 10 of them. You shouldn't have any problems finding them guys, just have a quick run around and you'll find 10 in no time. There's two. They do seem to be kind of by the base of trees or by rocks. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine. And ten. Now we have got our ten red grass, we need to head back to the chief. And these guys are still waiting outside. I bought you your scathe crawl. Good. So it seems like we need to do one more task for the chief and then we will become tribe kin. Bad lords, so first pairs we fight. You strong, you help. No more bad lords. So it seems like some pesky lords have been given the Reichling trouble and we've been asked to go and kill them. We fight back now. So now the chief has the dragonborn on his side, he feels that we should go and attack them back. We fight. Off he jumps again, and now you need to follow the chief with his funny walk out of the building. So he's gathering up the troops. <laughs> so we're good to go, and now me and the other funny looking little things are heading over to kill the Nords. <laughs> they are really funny looking little guys. Look, I mean, just look at the run they do. <laughs> So here are the Nords over by the shore, and our task now is with the help of the Reichling to go and kill them. They aren't that difficult to kill, but if you are a low level, it is advisable to bring some food. I cannot best you. So all of the Nords are now dead. You then need to go over and speak again with the chief. Okay, so the chief is getting a bit scared. He thinks that we now want to be the chief and we might be a bit too strong for his liking. And he would be right because now you need to say, you're right, I want to be the new chief. Strong. Always fight. Strong. Now you actually have to fight the chief yourself. He is a difficult opponent and should be really easy to kill. However, as mentioned earlier, he is very aggressive and clearly is not scared of the challenge. And strangely, the other rifling actually join in to kill him. And he is now dead. Now guys, we need to head back up to Thirsk Hall where we started. So you are now the new chief of Thirsk Hall and leader of this group of Reiklings. And you can now choose any of the Reikling of your choice to be your follower. Simply go up to one and speak with them. So he kind of makes a wah noise and he's now my follower and will follow me wherever I go. There is actually also a mod that you can install to have multiple followers, so in theory you could have as many of these guys following you as you wanted with that mod installed. So another thing to note about these Reiklings is that you can actually give them weapons in order to make them stronger. Simply select I need to trade some things with you and choose a weapon from your inventory to give to them. As you can now see my Reikling warrior follower now has my ebony bow and that will make his attacks even stronger. I'm not quite sure this weird little dance is that they do though. So now we can see our little guy in action, he's more than happy to go and attack these bristle bats. Which coincidentally look like our pig that we collected at the start for them. He's not scared at all and he will attack like mad. If you're wondering guys, the armor that I've got on is called Death Brand Armor. And it's actually the best light armor you can get in the game. I made a video on how to get this and I will link that in the description if you would like to get it yourself. 
So guys, hopefully you enjoyed the video. The Rifling is the best pet follow you can get in the game, and I fully recommend you going out and getting a Rifling yourself. If you enjoyed this guys be sure to leave a like and a comment on the video and if you're new here guys don't forget to hit subscribe.